There we go. Okay. Hey, it fixed itself. Okay. Let's do the posting. <sighs> there we go. And we'll quit that. And I say now one of these things. All right. How's everybody doing? Mobius Y here. Back in Stellaris Console Edition. Mere days. Well, in a way, hours. Before we get 2.6.3 Vern, the free update. Coming on the 25th, which will be tomorrow by the time this is live and public on YouTube. And at the time of recording this, less than two days. Two days for me, though, because I gotta go to work the day that we get the update. Bam! Um, anyways, yeah, I totally forgot to post uh, earlier today on my Twitter and stuff that I was gonna be streaming Stellaris Console Edition, but it's Tuesday, so that should that much should be obvious by now. Y'all should know that Tuesday night is Stellaris Console Edition night. 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch. Link will be provided down below. Anyways, speaking of which, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what you think of our RoboBird driven assimilators? Uh, whether you think it'll be a good idea to go to war, or it was a good idea to go to war, I should say. Or just leave a comment about the game in general. And uh, hopefully, uh, uploads like this will earn your subscription. If you'd like to see more Stellaris Console Edition content, absolutely subscribe to the channel. The goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December this year. Um, well, obviously, by the end of December this year, duh. By the end of December in 2021, the goal is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> so hopefully you'll join us on the road to 10K by hitting that red subscribe button yourself and, of course, sharing this content with any of your friends and colleagues who you think uh, would be interested in checking this game out and checking out my gameplay or those who you know do play this game and uh, would benefit from uh, the entertainment that I might provide or... The lessons that I teach, I suppose I could say. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord channel where you can become part of the greater Stellaris community. There's a big section for us console edition players to talk about the game, discuss strategies, ask questions, and even set up multiplayer matches as there are people from both Xbox and PlayStation platforms there. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good place to hang out. It's a very active um, Discord to talk about. Stellaris Console Edition, so if you're looking for uh, a place where there's a lot of people, a lot of members that are a part of it, and there's always discussions going on every day, the official Stellaris Discord is a good place to be. There's also links to my personal stuff down below. You'll find one for my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. Give me a follow there. I'm currently streaming four times a week, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I'm guaranteed to stream Stellaris Console Edition. Uh, since I'm streaming four times a week, I'm going to stream Stellaris Console Edition at least twice a week. So, give me a uh, drop in, give me a follow there, see what I've got playing. I do play some other games, maybe I'll interest you with something else, uh, like Age of Wonders Planetfall, for example. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you there. There's also a link to my Twitter feed, give me a follow there as well. It's a great way to keep in touch with me, and I post important announcements there all the time. It's also a really good alternative if Twitch notifications are misbehaving or you're just not getting them. Because I always post there whenever I go live with a stream. Um, so yeah, you can give me a follow there as well to uh, stay up to date on what's going on. Last but not least, there's a link to my own personal Discord channel where you too can make fun of how old you think I am. Like certain people who will, rename, who will remain unnamed and are currently watching the stream. <coughs> um, but, you know, it's another place you can hang out. It's a much smaller... Uh, place that you can talk about Stellaris Console Edition, but most everybody in there joined because of my Stellaris Console Edition content. So if you want to have a, a smaller community that is significantly less active, but you can still talk about the game with other people um, who do have a decent amount of experience with the game, that's another place to be. You can also just talk about whatever. Um, but I also highly recommend joining as well to take part in our little kind of community events that we have going on. Uh, there's one that's going on all year where my viewers get to submit their favorite clips from my YouTube videos or my Twitch streams. 
uh, depicting their favorite moments that just you know made them laugh or they thought something awesome was happened. Whatever you like, and I will put it in the compilation video, the best moments of 2021 compilation video that you will see at the, in January of next year. Um, Hopefully we'll uh, start seeing some people join in and submitting their clip ideas. There's also other community things going on there uh, occasionally, such as uh, viewer polls where my viewers vote on what games from my libraries on my Xbox and my PlayStation accounts that I play live on stream. So if you want to take part in those polls and decide what sets of games or what kind of games you see me play live on stream and not Dark Souls 2, then my personal Discord is the place to be. So all of those links are down below. And uh, hopefully I'll see you uh, in the Discord or in a Twitch stream. It would mean a lot to me uh, f to try and, you know, keep you entertained on the on the evenings, especially if I'm live. All right, what's going on? Uh, JB, I see you. What's going on, buddy? Runicat, what's up tonight? Uh, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Jurazon, hey, good to see you again, man. <laughs> what did you say about me? I said, uh... <laughs> I didn't say anything about you. I, I said I was making a joke that if anybody else wants to guess at how old I am without any actual uh, uh, pictures and whatnot, you know, make fun of how old I sound, quote unquote. Uh, Dark Souls 3. No, I'm not playing Dark, Dark Souls 3, JB. Or the PTSD I give people. Yeah. All right. So tonight uh, is going to be the last stream with this particular empire. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um... Because, of course, on Thursday with the update... Actually, I got you mixed up with someone else. Uh-huh. Sure, sure, sure. It's okay. Um, anyways, as I was saying, so tonight's going to be the last stream for um, our Driven Assimilators Empire. Because with the update and the new DLC, uh, every time... Um, every time a new update comes out, especially, but every time new DLC comes out as well, uh, Paradox has always recommended that you start a new game. Because... Uh, it's not that your old game is unplayable or anything like that. You just might not have access to some of the new features that come with an update or with DLC, for example. And sometimes, in in some areas, the old game is, is just incompatible. For example, uh, I'm sure some of you who have been watching me for quite some time, when we had the update to version 2.2.7, uh, Le Guin, which was about a year ago at the time of recording and uploading this, uh, our old save files were completely unplayable after that because they were from the version 1.7, which was completely different in terms of uh, capturing territory and expanding territory, uh, managing your planets for resource generation. Um, even ship design was drastically different. Like All of that was overhauled so much with the, with the Le Guin update that your old games were just straight up unplayable. That's not going to be the case this time around because a lot of the stuff is staying the same. There's just enough changes, though, where it's like, hey, you're probably going to want to start a new game so that you can get all the benefits that are coming with the free update, as well as the DLC. Um, I mean, a good example is when <clears throat> when uh, Megacorp came out and we had some new mega structures. I have an old save file that I'm going to have to. I'm just going to straight up delete and get rid of it. I, ha I have an old save file that I used for um, setting up. Um, yeah, well, I, I played it for a while, uh, for several hours, as a kind of like a precursor to creating videos whenever new stuff came out. Like my Aiken Monopolis video, for example. I had a sprawling empire that had a lot of resources, and I was like, okay, so anything that new that comes in, like Mega Structures or the Aiken Monopolis, whatever, I can use this save file. Now, fun fact, that save file actually has two copies of the Galactic Wonders Ascension perk. It already had the one, which allowed me to get the Century Array, Science Nexus, Dyson Sphere, and Ringworld from Utopia. But when I booted that same save file up again, after Megacorp dropped and I installed it, I had to take that, Asc uh, that Ascension perk a second time in order to get access to the Matter Decompressor, Strategic Coordination, Coordination Center, Mega Art Installation, and Interstellar Assembly. Stuff like that will happen... If you download new, new DLC or we get a new update and you play on an old save file, weird shit happens. So that's why it's always highly recommended you just start a new game. And that's exactly what we're going to do with uh, the 2.6.3 update as well as Lithoids. We'll be able to start a new Lithoid Empire, checking out some of the changes that are coming with this update. 
and, uh, you know, trying to make the best of it. We're going to spend a little less time checking out the new stuff in the game. Uh, we're obviously going to take a look at some of the origins because we'll be creating a new empire, so that'll be fun. Um, but there's just some things that I'm not going to have time to do in that stream because we're, we're going to want to create a new empire. It should be oodles of fun, though. Hopefully a bunch of you drop by to create a new empire. You sound about what you look like, lol. Uh, okay. I would say you were close to my age, which I don't want to say. So you're 24? <laughs> Jurazon is at least 10 years old. I'd like to offer the meth empire as a suggestion. The, our Lithoids Empire is going to be the Meth Empire? Really? Come on, JB. You can do better than that. Okay, uh, Mineral Machine Du. Alright, let's get let's get playing here. We need to go to war. Risen Way, what's going on? Let's finish this to get to Lithoids. Exactly. We're, we're going to war. Excuse me. Um, I might... I've, I've clipped the mic a couple times, but I got a big glass of water next to me because I had a major problem with last night's stream. I'm... My mouth got really dry from all the talking. Um, what the hell should I build here? I already have maintenance depot. I already have a machine thingy. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just do a sentinel post because we have a wee bit of deviancy. Not that it's really going to do too much of anything. That's okay. Rock candy terravore. Basically cavity monsters. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so where is our... Where is our Colossus? Here it is. All right, so it's moving to the Hadoofus system, uh, as are the c battleships and the cruisers. Um, I'm going to add a couple corvettes to our fleets to uh, speed up to speed up their speed. Uh, these do have afterburners, so we're kosher there. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to close that. Um, Rectronics, okay, cruisers. I do not have the alloys to add. I could add a few cruisers probably. Uh, that'll be 3,600 alloys. Eh, that's a bit much. It's okay, we can do it. We got 21 energy credits. Uh, I should unpause. Alright, close that. Rivalry? I don't care, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and sell some minerals. There we go. And... I... Damn it! <laughs> let's give it a second. There we go. If you wait. Uh, all things come to he who waits, sort of. Yes, at least 10. I won't say my real age, but you can take a wild guess when I say my first video game console was the original Nintendo Entertainment System when it first came out. So you're born in sometime in the 80s. I'll take a stab at that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that was my first console, too. I Fuck, some of my earliest memories are playing that old NES, playing games like uh, Blades of Steel. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, what's another good one? Of course, like, the original Legend of Zelda. Um, uh, what were some other good ones? I'm trying to remember. Um, super, the original Super Mario Brothers. Um, there was there was so many good ones. There was this there was this Who Framed Roger Rabbit game that either I couldn't understand because I just couldn't read it, or the game was shit. One of the two. I can't remember. Double Dragon and the Mega Man series. Double Dragon. Oh, Double Dragon one and two were awesome. We couldn't beat Double Dragon 2 to save our lives. And by we, I mean me and my brother. But Double Dragon 2 was, like, way easier, so we had no problems with that. All right, let's add a few... Let's add a few uh, Corvettes, excuse me. Let's add about 15 Corvettes to this fleet. And then we'll add... Uh, Scientific progress attained. About 15 Corvettes to this fleet as well. Where is that Titan that I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to have a Titan, but I don't know where the hell it is. There we go. All right, we got all of our Corvettes coming in. <coughs> Contra. I didn't have Contra. All right, um, there's our Sentinel posts. We lost a maintenance drone. That's not a big deal. Base cluster station. Do I have a Titan somewhere? I swear to God, I, I must have a Titan somewhere. All right, we got focusing arrays. We're starting to do focusing arrays up to grade 5 because we already got flash coolant 5. Uh, what's this? Architectural Renaissance just expired. We're going to re-up that. Because <clears throat> that speeds up the construction of our mega structures. And we've got a Dyson Sphere on the way here. 600 days before that's done. More declared. Oh my god! Here we go. 
Ever since the awakening of the Pirak and their ancient Arisu rivals, the two giants have been at odds, skirmishing and jockeying for influence, probing each other's might. This has resulted in a series of increasingly terse confrontations, excuse me, finally erupting in an open battle between a Pirak fleet and their Arisu counterparts in a remote system. Excuse me. The conflict has now escalated into full-blown war between the Pirak arbitrators and the Irisu Crusaders. Each side has sent a representative to the younger races, promising great rewards for those who join them in their war and terrible punishments for those who choose to stand against them. Choosing either side in this conflict will mean giving up our independence, but remaining neutral may be even more dangerous unless we can find other neutral empires to stand by our side. Um... Damn. I don't know. Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm Honestly, I'm leaning towards just grabbing. We will not take sides in this conflict. Delta Dave, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming by tonight. Um, we will not take sides. Let's see. Uh, which one is... I think the Crusaders are the uh, spiritualist one. I definitely didn't want to bother with them. Yeah, those are the... So where are... Where's the other one? Benevolent Interventionists. Hello. Peace in the galaxy is our foremost concern. Have you come to sign the treaty? Uh, they're arrogant. <coughs> no problem. Request to become signatory. We can offer to sign their proposed galactic peace treaty. If they accept, they will protect us, but we will be unable to conduct independent diplomacy and wage wars. We will also be required to, to ban slavery and purging. That's not cool. Did you ever play the original Ninja Gaiden, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, or RC Pro-Am? Those were good ones, too. I have RC Pro-Am right now because it's part of Rare Replay. I have it. I haven't tried it yet. There's a lot of the games in the, in the Rare Replay that I haven't played. And I recall the original Ninja Gaiden, but I didn't like it very much for some reason. This is going way back. Uh, one that I definitely remember um, is the NES Ninja Turtles. That one was awesome, in my opinion. Grab their discs and twist them. Okay. Risen Way, assimilate them all. I 120% agree, buddy. We're going to do that. I swear to goodness, I built a friggin' Titan. Where the hell is it? We should be able to support a second one. Lacking 2,200 alloys. Of course, because I don't have hardly any. Um, forgeries, how are we doing here? We have 21 amenities, so we're kosher. Could use a few more fabricators to get some more alloys rolling in. Alright. The original TMNT game or the arcade version? The original TMNT game. The original. Where you beat, a bu where you beat up a bad guy and they explode for whatever reason. <laughs> um, hmm. Do I want more alloys here? Eh, I don't see why not, I guess. Why did I build an alloy foundry here anyways? I don't know. That's supposed to say dicks, whoopsie. <laughs> Both were good, but the arcade version that was ported was better. Yeah, I don't disagree. But, uh... It was still like the original NES one that I played and fell in love with way more. Way more. Um... Why is it we have so many? Oh yeah, because we have a crap ton of, uh... Nexus districts. Um, do 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 do. I'm trying to think. We also had an old Atari 2600, and we had some very 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 old school games on that. Anyways, nostalgia rush over. Uh, yeah, early 80s. That's fine, man. I was born like late later in the 80s. But, uh, it's all good. Yeah, we're about the same age. Okay, the Dar Colonel. Okay. Do we have... Alright. The original had that top-down view when you were outside of the sewers and buildings and then went side-scrolling, went inside. Uh, I don't recall that. It was just straight up... You, uh... It was, it was from one battle thing to another. It was all a side-scrolling thing. And you, it was just 100% side-scrolling beat em up That's the one that I remember playing. 
Um, let's see. Mining place, mining world. Construction huh. finalized. Construction finalized. Very good. We're going to need more food. So you know what? I'm going to get rid of these. We're going to need more food because we're going to have more cyborgs with all this assimilating. The League of Non-Aligned Powers. Not all of the younger races chose to join with either side in the war raging between the Precursor Empires. Some, like ourselves, have remained neutral, but are facing the prospect of facing the Precursor Menace alone if the war should come their way. A League of Non-Aligned Powers has formed under the leadership of the Dark Colonel with the explicit goal of opposing both sides in the war. Joining this League would almost certainly mean war with the Precursor Empires, but at least we would have allies to stand by our aid, to stand by our side, instead of facing them alone. I think you were talking about the arcade version, then. That one was completely side-scrolling. Okay, fair enough. I'm tr uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like the Russian voice. Yeah, it's a pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good advisor voice. So far, my favorite is the evil corporation one that we used last time, because th there are some lines that we didn't even hear that I've played in the uh, voice line thing I found on YouTube. I've played it like numerous times. And man, there are some funny ones in that one. <laughs> pre sapient status? Frigging sapient! <laughs> Ugh, that is that's disgusting. What is that? And what's its market what's its market value? <laughs> oh man, that is horrible. Can we monetize this? <laughs> um it's very tempting to join this league, but I'm worried that we won't be able to de to declare war. Let's just go it alone for now. This could be very risky, but you know what? Fuck it. Replace hydroponics farms. I mean, if it all goes to shit and we actually lose in this game, I could jump back in my Model 16 Fabricators. I'm just having my Colossus run around blowing up planets on that anyways, and we can spend most of the evening kind of just chatting. I don't want to get to do that. I like the... I like the a few have those hidden yeah still the the best one was when we declared war and he goes let's pick us some low hanging fruit <laughs> that's still the best line in the game out of all the announcer packs in my opinion foreign workers have unionized oh hello has joined the galactic league okay it is a deal! Um, Alright, do we have our Dyson Sphere section done? No, not quite. There's too much going on. Wow, they are in the League of Non-Aligned Powers. Is... Oh, let's see. Has anybody not... Wow, I don't think anybody is, is, is subjugated by them. This is kind of crazy. Uh, I half expected a bunch of empires to subjugate themselves to... Oh. oh, they are. Okay, Signatory under Pirac Arbitrators. Okay, um, so let's take a look. Pirac Arbitrators, they are the, an overlord of the Hellfear Trading Consortium. As for these guys, overlord of Tebran High Kingdom. Okay, so if we take a look, the Tebran High Kingdom, these guys that have this big snaking tech, uh, bit of territory here... They are um, subservient to the Erisu Crusaders. And then the Hulfir Trading Consortium, which is way up there, bent the knee to the Pirac Arbitrators down here. Okay. Satula, you need upgrades badly. Um, let's give you a few more of those for now. That's not going to be anywhere near enough to hold off an awakened empire invasion fleet, though. Man, my autocorrect is all kinds of messy. That's why you turn it off, dude. I think autocorrect is one of the banes of modern existence. Hot take. Oh, there's the... It is there! Yes! Yes! Alright, where are you? Battleship. Let's move out. I want a good look. I want a good look at this Titan. Like, I want a good look. It didn't look that big in the ship designer, but holy shit, it is huge. I like that. 
And it looks so good too. Like the damn. I didn't. I can. I mean, I did I was a little skeptical at first, JB, but like I'm glad you were right about how good the Plantoid Titan looks. Like it looks awesome. The folks that do the visual work at Paradox and make up the ship designs and stuff like that, they do good work, son. <laughs> All right, um, we are going to prepare our ships for the jump to Soval. Uh, that sounds like a character from Star Trek somewhere, although I don't remember which one. Um, okay, so we're going to get the cruisers to stay with the Colossus. And the Colossus is going to move up here. All right. So are these guys all set to aggressive? Yes, they are. Aggressive and aggressive. All right, perfect. Upgrades, people. I want to see it fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, so sexy. Plantoid ships, man. Love them. Eh, I never really... There was, I never really had a real soft spot for plantoid ships uh, in general, really. I thought they were pretty nice-looking designs for the most part, but uh, they, never really, they never really tickled my cockles just right, so I didn't really bother with using them, using the ship set too much, but after seeing the Plantoid Titan, like, that's fantastic. I love it. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, let's talk to the... Where are these guys? Pox. Ooh, their fleet power is now inferior to us. Are they subservient to anybody? No, they are not. All right. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Redistribution. <laughs> ready to rock and roll. Battleships. Attack. Colossus. Attack. Oh, wait. What? Why are you set to evasive? It's just passive. There you go. There we go. We're going in. We're going in. Get and tactical, Marines! Here. Oh, that station's not gonna, even going to be a problem, so, you know, whatever there. I'm a big fan of the artillery cruiser front. It looks solid. Now I'm genuinely curious. All right, Liram Station, you could use a couple more gun batteries, obviously. And how about a disruption field generator, huh? Yeah, I think you want one of those. Oh, yeah, you want one of these disruption field generators, don't you, man? Oh, these are a hot item right now. I don't know what accent that was. Just don't ask. <laughs> uh, I have military ships up here in... S oh, that's right. That is the system that I took over. Yes. All right. The Polarex machine fleet. You know what? I'm just going to get them to follow the Colossus as well. There you go. Have at her. Do it! Oh, we're doing it, Risen Way. Don't you worry, buddy. We are doing it. Um, let's see. Defense platform's coming online. I could use an ion cannon here, but this needs a citadel. So, we'll just go ahead and queue an upgrade up to a citadel there. It's very expensive to get an ion cannon because you have to upgrade the More damn starbase to a citadel. Ooh, hello. The Dark Colonel is now at war against the Pirac Arbitrators. Wow, okay. The Dark Colonel is now at war against the Irisu Crusaders. <laughs> That's the League of Non-Aligned Powers going to work. Independent Dominion under Irisu Crusaders. The Tecarus Continuum. Iruxo Sovereignty. Oh, okay. They're under the League of Non-Aligned Powers. These guys are not going to join any federations. So it's just the Dark Colonel... I guess the options for how many empires could be could join the League of Nonline Powers was very small. So it's just those two, the Arixu something something and the Dark Colonel. That's fine. Okay, ooh, ooh, hold on. Uh alright, there we go. Starry Perch. Commence assimilation protocols. <laughs> Cyborg guys! <laughs> Cyborg guys, Starry Perch. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the ship designer at this battleship. Oops. Oh, no. Hang on. What the hell? Uh, new design. Thank you. What the fuck was that? Okay. Uh, artillery bow? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. The plantoid artillery bow. I definitely like it. 
Uh, the hanger bow actually looks cool. I kind of wish that this was the or was the uh, XL slot, the uh, uh, the spinal mount bow. That the, the, they get the, they get rid of those little things on the sides. I wish that was the spinal mount on the uh, plantoid ship, and then this was hangers. Like if they were flipped, I would be a happy camper. Broadside is kind of eh. I like the artillery bow. That one's good. Uh, hanger mid and M slot rear, huh? Enemy station Broadside engaged. core. Uh, artillery core kind of just continues that. Uh, hangar core. Yep, it looks good. And this one looks pretty awesome. Carrier core and then broadside stern. Yeah, there you go. That's a battleship. That looks a lot like the uh, the um, Sentinel. Um, Scientific what's it called? Progress attained. Freighters from No Man's Sky. That's what I was looking for. Freighters. Um, all right, we have way too many minerals. Let's sell a bunch. And can we buy some alloys? Ooh. Can, but they're awfully expensive. Uh, did we finish our... There, yes, we did. All right, Dyson Sphere portion done. Okay, now I need to make some money. Oops, that's the wrong system. Asteria. Asterion. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we're way short. Way short. Oh, excuse me. Now I have the hiccups. Great. 17,000. Uh, we got some dark matter to get rid of. There we go. Yeah, we'll just have to leave it alone. Shit. Cruisers, Moby. What about cruisers? Will hangar battleships be viable after the update? Um... I think they get more viable, but not... Still not as much. Early and mid game, late game, not so much. Yeah, and and I'm all about late game. I'm all about that late game preparation. Oh wait, I can. But I hear it. Do you guys hear that? Early, they are supposed to be OP. Is it? That sounds like it would be annoying if I had the volume higher and could hear that plane as day. Can't tell, though. But, here's something I can tell. That the Colossus firing looks pretty badass. Look at that. That's cool. Here it comes. So it is the thing when it's charging. Okay. Prepare cyborgification. We're going to get a bunch of cyborgs from this. And uh, I'm going to immediately resettle them. It's going to be fun. This, uh, this Colossus makes a lot of noise. Starry Perch was assimilated by nanobots from the nanobot diffuser on our Colossus. <laughs> nanobots dispersed. The Caw Deca 2 has completed deployment of the assimilation nanobot payload, calculated to be sufficient to cybernetically dominate all sapient organics on Starry Perch. We did not build the, Dod the Caw Deca 2 with any sensors or instruments to measure our success, but we know. We open our eyes for the first time down on Starry Perch. We see ourselves and are seen by ourselves. On Starry Perch's surface, there is only us. <laughs> and that is how you take control of a planet. Instantaneously. Alright, time to do some resettling, hey? Uh, where's Forgeries? There it is. See you guys! Production Whee! Holding. All right, Starry Perch has low stability. I don't care. <laughs> uh, Forgeries has major unemployment right now, I'm sure. 29 unemployed. That's not good. All right, let's open up these jobs. Actually, I just hit restore jobs, Moby. Stop being dumb. Um, ooh, that's, oh yeah. Okay, definitely needs some maintenance depots. Let's get two of them right now. Uh, we'll fix that. 
And maybe some more sentinel posts while we're at it. There we go. And just like that, we probably upped our uh, alloy production by a decent amount, too. Because, bam! Tw <laughs> 20 more fabricator jobs. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how it's done, folks. But we're not done yet. Because there are more pops that are just asking to be like, Hey, you know what I want to be? Assimilated. <laughs> and we will be happy to oblige them. We need a couple more foundry arcologies, obviously. And then probably another maintenance depot. Yikes. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the plantoid colossus or if it's the nanobot diffuser that creates all that noise though. Like I'm not I'm not sure which one it is. I'm gonna take a guess it's the nanobot diffuser. It's probably dependent on the weapon you're using. Alright, contacts. These guys are unhappy with us. Closed borders. Assimilated our world. Minus 600. <laughs> Profane machines. May the divine powers strike you down where you stand. Bring it. You want a fucking piece of me? <laughs> Scientific progress attained. I guess it was kind of pointless getting those Corvettes if I'm not going to have them all. Uh, running around individually, hey? Uh, what the hell do I want here? Let's grab synchronized firing patterns. Sure. Polly, sure. I don't remember it making that much noise and I was cracking planets. Okay. It's got, it's got to be the nanobot diffuser weapon then. Because I remember the global pacifier and the neutron sweeper making slightly different noises when charging and firing. So it's got to be the nanobot diffuser. And not the plantoid ship set, um, Colossus itself. This thing's gonna melt. Sup, dogs? You might have a lot of hull points, but they are gone already. Admiral gained lethargic. Uh-oh. That's not good. That is very not good. Uh, which admiral is that anyways? That's the wrong damn thing. You need to go over here. Okay. Uh, com commanding the Polar X machine fleet. Reduced evasion and sublight speed. That is unacceptable. We need... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go ahead and take the aggressive guy. And... Somebody died, too. That's fantastic. Hang on a sec here. Uh, is it this guy? Yep. Get rid of him. Grab this guy. Increased ship fire rate is always nice. Scientist Herbity there. No problem. All right, now, where are you? Uh, you need to Scientific cyborgize. Cyborgize. I like how they gave it such a silly name. Cyborgize. That's like something that you would hear from like some kind of '90s TV show. Where the hero, there's always a transformation fucking sequence in animation in a 90s TV, uh, kids TV show, action TV show. So it's like, you know, right before, right before this uh, Power Rangers knockoff uh, transforms, they're like, Team Cyborg Eyes! <laughs> Here we go. How many pops are here, I wonder? Uh, it, mm, there it is. 45. Holy shit. Yeah, that's way more than I was... Okay, so we can move them to the big money, the Gaia world. Let's go ahead and drop some mining districts here. And we'll need some housing. Okay. Ooh, hello. Got a lot of unemployed pops all over the empire right now. That's not good. Um, let's see. Energy place. You have an, one unemployed pop. Resettle. Uh, machines energy, I think, is where you're going to go. It's a post Steven, so yeah, let's move you. And food place. Got two unemployed pops there. 
And we could use more hydroponic farms, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we've got a little bit of deviancy here, so I'll probably do a sentinel post as well. There we go. Alright, gang. Let's do this. Cyborg guys! <laughs> I am never going to get over that word, I don't think. Oh, shit. Uh, mark it. Um, hang on. Sell. And do we win another month? Yeah, I think we can. Let's give it a sec here. And whoop. There we go. And we got enough to buy this one. Bam, there's our 10k. Next section of the Dyson Sphere, ready to rock and roll. Boop. Now, how are we doing on the living metal mega construction? Uh, we still have... Ooh. Only a couple months before that ends. We'll change that. There we go. Another 45 pops. Sort of, kind of, not really by choice, but happily joined <laughs> the fold. Um, Alright, so we're going to tote some goats. Uh, move about Production 10 pops boarding. over to here. And then we're going to resettle pretty much everybody else, I think, to forgeries. Ooh, that could be... Uh, Production halted. Production halted. That is a lot of pops. Um, okay, maybe I shouldn't put them all there. Let's put some of them in food place, yeah? Production halted. There. Alright, um, low stability on Kamak Perch. I don't care because it has nobody there anymore. <laughs> That's what happens when you resettle everybody off of the planet. The planet just goes poof. Uh, is there anybody further south? Mm, I guess not. Okay. Well, there is, but let's start going this way first. We're gonna... We will take their capital of not Jerusalem. This is turning out to be a very profitable, profitable venture for us. They're very upset with us, too. That's the best part. Uh, let's see. The Dark Colonel... They don't dislike us. At least not yet. Assimilated a world. Ooh, they don't like that. What about the Pirac Arbitrators? Oh, they don't care. Sweet. Um, let's see. Who else? Well, eventually the Crusaders guys are going to get pissed at us and go to war. That goes without saying. Uh, that was Living Metal Mega Construction? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, shit. I'm short. Oh no! Uh, sell a couple hundred of those, sell a couple hundred of those, and a couple hundred of those. And I need to buy a lot. Alright, back we go. And where the hell is it? There we go. Living Metal Mega Construction up and running again. I don't care for this station, so fuck off. I also don't care for this station, so fuck off. Hostile reactionaries detected. Ooh, hello. Where are you? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Where are you guys headed? Moving to the Targon system, huh? Where is that again? Oh, it's way down there. Well, shit, you know what? To get there, they're going to have to get through our fleet. Hell yeah. Alright, so I got a plan. We're going to put the Colossus right here. And the cruisers and corvettes are going to hang out. Actually, yeah, that should be fine. Let war come. Absolutely. The cruisers and the battleships, they're just going to go in that next system. So if they're coming down to Targon, is that the route they're going to take? I really fucking hope so. On a direct course towards the Rasalas system. Oh, really? Moving to the Targon system. So hopefully they go to Kalboros. Uh, can we intercept? I think so. I hope so. And then these guys, I would just want you following. Uh... Follow these dudes. 
Do I not have any more Corvettes? Oh, I've still got 25 Corvettes. That's fine. All right, we can do this. We are going to take these guys down a peg. Oh, here they come. Are they moving this way? They absolutely are. Okay, so never mind. Never mind about what I said. I need you to pull back. Oh, my God. My ships are so fast. <laughs> my fleets are so fast, I guess I should say. All right, get out of there. Move here. Go, 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 go. Oh, never mind. Never mind. They're not going to have time. They are not going to have any time whatsoever. All right. Fuck it. Fight them. So just, uh, just turn your ships around, okay? Let's just do that. Prepare for battle. Here we go. I don't like having them jump right on top of us. That's okay, though. We will... Oh, here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> Time to get your shit pushed in. We're losing some Corvettes. Our cruisers have lost a few numbers as well, but man, are we dealing some damage. They got a lot of little Corvettes. Get fucked. Oh my god, we, we only took out half their Corvettes, but we did some damage. They lost two out of six cruisers, three out of six battleships. Damn, we lost a few guys as well, though. That's too bad. That's okay. All right, so we're going to get these guys to resume following the Colossus to protect it. And then the Colossus... Dun, 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 Cyborg eyes! <laughs> like a reverse plunging. <laughs> okay. I don't want to know what... Uh, never mind. Alright, the cruisers got that. Get fucked. Easy. Easy wins, easy life. Alright, let's... Can we reinforce the fleets? Two fleets need to be reinforced with 14 ships for 4,400 alloys. Ugh. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think so. I don't really want... I definitely don't really care for reinforcing the Corvettes. I, I gotta admit... Well, those guys got absolutely fucked. That's what you get for talking shit to us all game. All game. We would pray for immortal souls, post even Stevens, had you any to lose. Sorry, we would pray for your immortal souls, excuse me. Reading is hard. What are you guys doing? Oh, what the hell? You were supposed to be in this fight. Get Scientific going. Scientific progress attained. Scientific progress attained. Focusing arrays four. Coming up. I like the thought of your Colossus being controlled by five robots, but they are just Power Ranger colors. <laughs> that would be amazing. How is it that these guys still have an equivalent fleet power to us? I call bullshit and hacks on that. All right, this Citadel is getting fucked. I love it. Oh, why is the Colossus suiting its perdition beam at a friggin' mining station? I need you to take this thing out. Come on, now. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. The delicious destruction. Oh, they took it a colony ship. That's why. <laughs> okay, because apparently that was necessary. All right, um, how are we doing? Um... I think we're okay. Holy shit. That actually paid off. Are you upping your energy because Zach Tool's streaming right now as well? What? No. I don't even know who that is. I'm just excited that we are able to uh, assimilate. Assimilate. Muchos gracias. And then we'll do a residential arcology. Actually, maybe just... Two. Yeah, oh, fuck it. We'll leave it alone. What do I get for residential arcologies again? Two maintenance drones. <laughs> Take out the colony ship. There must be no witnesses. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right, Primus 1. Let's go ahead and resettle some peeps. We would pray for your soul if if you had one. Oh, yeah? We'll add your soul to the collective. <laughs> 
Exactly, JB. All right, and now we're going to move this Gary to big money. Like so. we got a research cooperative between those guys. Construction finalized. Uh, there's Scientific food place. Oh, my attained. God. Yuck. Look at all these pops that uh, are unemployed. That's gross. I don't want to do a system conflux, though. When are you getting... Demoting to menial drone in, oh my god, 1,500 days to get demoted. Well, well you, you need to be cyborgized first, apparently. All right, let's go ahead and grab extraction patterns. Yum, yum. Energy place, tech world. Uh, do I have the gas? Probably do. Do I have the housing and the amenities? Absolutely. Four, eight, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Energy place upgrades all around. I might regret this later. We'll see. Um, here we go. We're getting another 60 pops. Jesus. <laughs> I don't have enough place to put all these guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, what the hell am I going to do? Um, how about some alloy foundries here, yeah? Maybe a sentinel post? And... Anything else? Alright. Myerific. I think the game broke because it didn't cyborgize everybody. Can we shoot again? No. That's too bad. Guess what we're doing now? Oh, shit. These guys are going to get absolutely wrecked. kind of feel bad for them. Bye-bye. All right. On to their capital world. Did not go gentle. But hey, these sons of bitches are getting exactly what they deserve. I might just assimilate all their planets on the eastern side of the galaxy and then ignore all these ones on the, on the western side of the galaxy for now. Just as, as a kind of like, hey, <laughs> look at all the space I have now. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's see. Bastion, you've got the ability to get a defense grid supercomputer. Uh, Anti-invasion simplex. You don't have an ion cannon, so let's give you one. And we'll give you a bunch more of these. There. I gave you one. That's good enough. Be happy. Be thankful for everything I've done for you. What could be more insulting to a spiritualist um, fanatic purifier than assimilating their world? Because I think not much. <laughs> we have a lot of housing here, so we're cushy there. Big money! Uh, we'll need max out these mining districts, and then we'll just max out these nexus districts. There we go. And then we're going to need some more stuff here. Let's go ahead and do a sentinel post. We'll get uh, a chemical plant should be enough for now. And then how about that place where... What was it? Energy place? Yes. All right. I don't know what these guys base habitability is. Ooh, shit. Dry worlds. I guess that's not good. Hmm. Damn. I'm not going to be able to uh, modify them, I don't think. Are these all cyborgs yet? Better be. Ain't nobody got time for non-cyborgs. What the shit? I really should edit our 
native uh, our cyborg species our native species our cyborgs I really should because some of them are just the post Stevens mm -mm. 510 pops <laughs> okay And Void Brood is a refinery world. How the hell do you have housing problems, bro? What is wrong with you? Look at this shit. What a clusterfuck. This is why the AI is stupid, and I just recommend and I recommend just bumping up the difficulty to Grand Admiral, because they do such stupid crap all the time. And it's like, uh what? What you what what what? <laughs> what was your plan? I don't know. I just built the shiny things. They looked cool. <laughs> Hostile reactionaries detected. A hundred pops on this world. Oh no. What are you guys doing? They're moving to the Rasalas system, hey? Where the hell is that? Oh, that's like way back there. Right, never mind. Well, we have assimilated that world now too. Yay! Alright, we are going to intercept these sons of bitches in the Rossala system and kill them because we can. Uh, Kradon has low stability. I don't care. Look at that negative 30 amenities. <laughs> Whew! Good times, good times. Where am I going to put all these goddamn pops? Seriously. I'm getting a lot of foundry arcologies, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, maintenance drones. Yo, step it up, maintenance drones. Get those amenities, yo. Alright, let's get another maintenance depot. Maybe two. Fuck it, let's make it, uh, four more maintenance depots. And a sentinel post. What the hell did he just say? Post lost, I guess. Maybe I don't know. I don't really care. What are you using? I want to check out these guys. This guy's ship. Dang it! Cursor. Fucking behave. There we go. Uh, fleet. Okay, uh, flak artillery. Wow! <laughs> okay, good thing we're not using strike craft, I guess. What the hell? Kinetic artillery and gauss cannons. Alright. Whatever. I could change my defenses to uh, match that, but I don't really care. We're good. Big money! Uh... Um, we'll be to machines energy. All right, these, uh, excuse me, these mining places. Get the rest of those, get the Nexus districts online. I don't need to restore jobs. How about this machine world? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll get you another Nexus district. Mm, actually, let's reduce that by one mining district and add another Nexus district for the housing. Probably going to need it. Machines energy. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then two more Nexus districts. Mineral machine world. This one's already fully built. Really? Okay, shit. Uh, damn. What am I going to do here? I don't know. Kind of want to do more alloy foundries. But research labs. Uh, I think we'll do research labs here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to hurt our amenities quite significantly. Oh, shit. Oh, Tainos. Where's that guy going? How the hell did they get so many ships back so suddenly? That's crazy. All right. Trade on with your hundred pops and super duper low stability because the computer sucks donkey dick at planet management. Um, sure. 
Let's see, generator districts coming online. We got some mining districts going on there. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to resettle every even Steven off of forgeries to start things off. Move them to machines energy, I guess. Uh, post Steven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And I need to find the fabricator ones. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, so thirty-seven pops. I was able to move no problem. Um, I'm going to move thirty-seven pops from Cradon to Forgeries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Uh, still low, stabi low stability on Kradon. I don't care. We have a wee bit of unemployment on forgeries. Uh, Kradon, we can resettle some more pops to forgeries. We'll do about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That should be enough. Looks like the Stevens are getting even. Yeah! <laughs> you disgust me sometimes. You know that? I think you know that. Oh my god, we do need amenities. Holy crap. How the hell did I... Oh yeah. Because <laughs> I moved 37 pops from forgeries to here. Because apparently that was a good idea. Alright, let's just start with some maintenance depots, shall we? Uh, machines energy. I'm going to get rid of these generator districts under construction. Let's leave the nexus districts. We need those maintenance depots. Actually, get rid of the primary nexus maintenance depots first. And then five more generator districts. There we go. That's a good start. And then we can do the energy grid. And we'll also do an exotic gas refinery. Plus a chemical plant. And then nothing but research labs, I think. And, 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 and there we go. Plus, of course, a planetary supercomputer. Why the planetary supercomputer? Because we have seven research labs, so a planetary research supercomputer uh, should be giving us enough, enough of a bonus where it's as good, if not... Well, it'll be just about as good as another research lab. Just about. Not totally. CSI memes. Oh, dude, those never get old. Here we go. These guys think that they can take us. But they forget that we have the almighty weapon. Dun dun dun. Tachyon lances. And more of them got destroyed. Beautiful. I like it. Get fucked. Alright, that feels that kind of feels like enough assimilating for one day because. Well, I don't know. Tell me, who the fuck are you? <laughs> uh, oh my god, how do we get over there? What the fuck? They have those systems, but you can't get to it. Alrighty then. Alright, my nine-year-old humor is telling me that this little blob over here looks like an extremely flaccid, but extremely girthy penis. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep assimilating, eh? Fuck it. Why not? Um, I think I'm going to change it so that those guys' species rights are to be purged. Assimilation. Mm, set rights. No, we can't do that. Can we purge them? No. Hmm. Alright, that's too bad. No purging, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, Alright, I don't know what you're talking about, JB. Uh, let's go ahead and downgrade this. Are you trying to start shit, bro? They certainly are. They're being a little bit successful. Keyword, a little bit. 
All right, let's upgrade this because we can. Oh my god, look at all that influence. Mm, beautiful. You can re-enable re -enable these anytime. And we still got an hour left in the stream, too. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. Sure, why not? Uh, the way you're saying OU is reminding me of like one of the voice lines for some kind of uh, Loki skin. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, you. You know? I didn't. I don't like that Loki skin anyways. Whatever. CSI LA. In the intro when the song is about done, he says you in the song three times and... and it's a ballistic Hostile head getting whacked. Detected. Y yeah, pretty much. Hostile Station reactionaries under detected. What the hell are these sons of bitches? Okay, I don't care. You do what you want. You can pretend that you're beating me back, but uh, look at that war exhaustion. They're up to 77%. <laughs> uh, gonna downgrade this. Faux show. Sure. Bye. If you watch the intro, you'll see it. No, I know I know what you mean now. It's It's been a while since I've seen Hostile the original CSI, but you're detected. right. Well, well, one of them was, like, one of them was not a ballistic gel. It was like a dummy, like one of those foam dummy kind of heads. Where, which I think is, like, used for, like, testing blunt force trauma and that kind of shit. Mining place needs a primary nexus. Absolutely. Um, what else attained. can we put here? Let's do, let's do a chemical plant. And a synthetic crystal plant whilst we are at it. And what else? We don't have a Ministry of Production as a machine empire. What is that on the homeworld then? There's we got something somewhere that looks a little weird. It's weirding me out because it's weird. Uh, where the hell did it go? I saw it on a planet. Oh, there it is. It's on forgeries. Ministry of Culture. Why the fuck do I have a Ministry of Culture here? Hostile reactionaries I've, detected. I must have had a significant brain fart when I was building that. Maybe it was a foam one then. No point beating Jello aside from watching the ripples. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Oh my god, there's two planets here. Oh. Oh. Cyborgizing. Well, this is fun. Hey, this is like pseudo free pops, right? <laughs> All right, how are we doing on forgeries now? Still got a bunch of unemployed pops. I don't want to restore 44 fabricator jobs because that's ridiculous. Um. I'm just going to wait for the residential arcology, the maintenance depots. I need to resettle a lot. All right. Um, let's quickly check something here. Mineral machine world. You need maintenance drones, but you're kidding. Eh, maybe not. Okay, let's do a second maintenance depot on all of these worlds, I guess. Uh, why don't I have a mining thingamabobber on here? What the fuck is wrong with me? You heard it here, folks. You heard it here first, folks. Mobius Y is a dumbass. Synthetic crystal plants. And then Mineral Machine World. Duh. Um, let's do another research lab here. With the planetary supercomputer. And we'll add an exotic gas refinery. And let's leave it at that. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you need something? Yeah, let me get that. Uh, uh, Jim! What's the problem? He put my stuff in jello again! <laughs> oh, we lost a battleship. When did that happen? It's too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look back at forgeries. We only got two open jobs there, four open jobs there. I have 35 unemployed drones here. Gross. Uh, so machines energy is not the go-to resettle place for the next thing. Maybe mineral machine do. 
Mineral Machine 3. Mineral Machine 1. Uh, hmm. Start with that. Okay. Forgeries. How many more even Stevens do you have here? Uh, Mineral Machine 1, I believe, is the one I was looking at. Um, okay. Stop that. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have... Where are the posts? Okay, we got one. Uh, two. And that's it? Holy shit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where's Kradon? There we go. Boop, boop. There you go. Identity theft is a crime, Moby. <laughs> this isn't a joke, JB! Identity theft is a real crime that people suffer with every day. <laughs> I forget. I forget the line. I gotta admit, I don't remember the line. Uh, okay. Actually, we could probably just resettle everybody from crate on to Production forgeries halted. now. Production halted. Production halted. There we go. And now. Uh, Kradon has low stability. Shocker. Look at all that crime. Oh, man, that's beautiful. It's not. I'm just making shit up. Activate compliance protocols. Plus five stability. Uh, resources from jobs reduce 33%. All forms of puff growth reduce 50%. I don't really want any of those side effects. Hmm. Millions of people suffer every day. I also enjoyed Recyclops. Recyclops. I don't remember that one. Um, one of the best ones, though, was uh, Asian Jim, where the guy who played uh, Kim Jong, whatever his name is, in the interview with uh, Seth Rogen and uh, James Franco. He comes in and he's pretending to be Jim. And they replaced all the pictures and whatnot of Jim's family with Asian Jim. <laughs> that one was a good one. Of course, the best one. The best one is when Jim walks in. It dresses in all black hockey gear, was good for the first year, then he became bad because the world was doomed anyways. <laughs> the drone campaign edict is ending. Alright, let's fix that. The very best one. Question. Which type of bear is best? Well, that's up for the... False. Black bears. I mean, that's entirely up for the... Fact. Bears eat beets. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> that one was the best. Oh, well, that's the, that's the identity theft one. Isn't it? <laughs> the same damn thing. What am I on about? Okay, we need um, more food. There's got to be another place where I had food, right? Why did I do minerals here? Wasn't I doing food here? Shit. <laughs> Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Oh, well, makes perfect fucking sense. <laughs> Restore jobs, bitches. That might help. I've got enough amenities, but crime was at an all-time high because we had a lot of unemployed pops. That did not work out. Mm -mm -mm. No, it did not. Housing is okay, so let's add a couple more foundry arcologies. Oh, man. I need more maintenance depots, though. Oh, hello. The birth of space piracy. A small group of malfunctioning units have separated themselves from the main intelligence of the Not Dark Souls 2 and sought refuge in the Rasselas system inside our space. These units have become irredeemably irredeemably corrupted and they now use crude spacecraft to raid the vulnerable trade route that passes through the system for spare parts and resources. Why do I give a fuck? Huh. 
I was not expecting that. Let's check out these Raider names, by the way, because they're always funny. Raider, Guilty Pleasure, uh, Free Lunch, Filibuster, Dove, Dove and Crow, excuse me, Four Lights, uh, what's this ship called? Come on, move the cursor. Sea Monkey, oh, there you go. Outrageous Fortune, <laughs> Violence Liker, uh, Grace Under Pressure, and Divine Intervention. Michael? Oh, real funny. Michael! <laughs> Hostile reactionaries detected. This isn't a joke, Jim. Identity theft is a real crime. Millions of people suffer every day. Michael? Oh, yeah, that's real funny, Jim. Michael! <laughs> that one was the best. Okay, um... Jeez. Rising unemployment on machines energy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm working to fix that. Leave me alone, God. Still 26 unemployed pops there, though. Oh my god, I totally forgot that we have two maximum harvesting traps here. What the fuck? Uh, so, yeah, get rid of the chemical plants, obviously. And you know what? I'll get rid of the exotic gas refineries, too. There we go. Okay. Why am I doing research labs there? Oh. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, where are they? Mode harvesting traps. There we go. Ready to rock and roll. Um, still trying to figure out why the fuck I built the Ministry of Culture here. Because the simple answer is I have no idea. <laughs> What do we got here? Hello. The only thing that Raider Fleet was missing was a ship called Holy Nova. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy Nova! <laughs> Look, just promise me you won't use any blinding, any of those really bright magic spells like Holy Nova, because it makes it really tough to do what I need to do. Okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, all right. Let's get this battle started. Charge! Holy Nova! <laughs> blinding heal! Blinding heal! Blinding heal! <laughs> uh, I gotta, I'm gonna have to share that video in uh, Discord for context because some people are probably just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Um, okay, Post Stevens, you are definitely moving to here, and the Gary is going to move to Forgeries. Where is that? Um, there we go. All right, rocking and rolling. Food place. You have ten unemployed Scientific pops. Why? Shit. Where am I gonna put you? Holy hand grenade. Yeah, that's going old school. All right, I think Big Money is gonna have to change. Ooh, Betharian refineries. Okay, Big Money is gonna have to. Ooh. Asterion Dyson Sphere completed. Energy output nominal. Very good, very nice. Alright, I think we're going to have to change big money and get agriculture districts instead. Uh, minerals were, were kind of okay on minerals, even though we just lost a shitload because of all the fabricators were just going, Hey, look, we have a shitload of fabricators. Yay. Scientific progress. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Oh, administrative efficiency, let's do that again. Sure, why not? Batharian refinery, done. Batharian refining, excuse me. Talking is hard. Going through shit so fast because lots of stuff is happening. Uh, what happens if I completely take out all of these? We lose 13 jobs? Do we have enough to fill them? No. Uh, but let's go ahead and demolish them anyways. Yay! Scientific progress attained. Alright, we leave, gotta leave one, and then the rest are. Boo -boo 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 I think I queued them all up. Oh, I'm out of minerals, that's why. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. What? Uh, oh, I did queue them all up. Alright. That leaves me a lot more ne Nexus districts for some reason. Why? Focusing arrays, five. Done. Let's get shield harmonics next. Hostile reactionaries detected. 
Huh. More bitches. 21, cor 21 Corvettes. Yeah, okay. Um, Rasselas, what's happening here? Uh, I still control the planet. Alright, where the hell am I going to move all these pops to? Hello. Welcome to the family. Um, okay. What am I going to do here? We have a butt-ton of amenities. I don't know if it'll be enough, though. One Ink and Minopolis just ain't enough. Oh, we're losing gases now. Shit. All right, back. Had to eat some dinner. Did I miss anything good? Um, yeah, we simply ramped up the production of, like, our alloys by just dumping a bunch of newly cyborgized pops onto our Ink and Minopolis. So now our minerals are kind of in the shitter. We only have 600 per month. But our alloys are al already almost up to 1,000 per month, just like that, because, you know, reasons. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to get a construction ship over to the Zorican Black Hole ASAP. Where the fuck is the nearest one? Right there in Hadoofus. Perfect. And uh, you're going to go ahead and start building a matter decompressor. Which, obviously, you can't do right now because of this stupid thing. Fuck off. There you go. Oh, no. Don't build the research station. Damn it. Build megastructure. Matter decompressor. There we go. We need those sweet, sweet minerals. Can I build another ion cannon? No, I, I can, but I don't need to. Uh, let's just fill these out. Ready to rock and roll. We're also losing food uh, and gases right now. Why are we losing so many exotic gases, though? I don't. That one I don't understand. Oh, that's why. Uh, let's disable that. Oop, dis di disable. Ooh, what the fuck? No, don't do that. Don't do that. What are you doing, Moby? Get your head out of your ass. Disable. Uh, no! Damn it, I did it again! Fuck! And... Disable. Disable. And... Okay, we gotta have another tech world. Yep, disable. 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 And... Here's another one. Disable. Disable. And here's this guy. Disable. There we go. What happened to the food production? Uh, well, we assimilated about 400 new pops. <laughs> and they're all cyborgs that require food, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely exaggerating a little bit on the 400 new pops, but I'm, I don't think I'm far off. <laughs> so I'm trying to change that. Big Money here is now going to be doing agriculture. Ooh. Agriculture districts. Alright, so we max those out, then we do Nexus districts after all this. The Nexus district, Sentinel Post, and then Chemical Plan, and then boom, Agriculture districts up the yin yang. Color me impressed, Post Even Stevens. You have more bugs than an Arthropoid all you can eat dining dung buffet. Excuse me. I always get that one mixed up. I always read it as dining buffet. Gotta head to bed, Moby. Have a good night, buddy. Solid stream again. Thanks, JB. See you again soon, man. Okay, and then Esconce. Get rid of that. And Etrabin. Get rid of that, because I don't care for those. Get better material. <laughs> Royal Duke Jam, what's going on? See you later, you bunch of degenerates. You're one to talk. The, Eryx the Eryxo Sovereignty is opening their borders because they no longer see any reason to keep the us locked out of their territory. Okay. <laughs> I can taste your stink, vile tin can. Every time I do, I fear that I've somehow been infected by it. Oh, you're a little bitch, aren't you? 47% stability? Well, that's a problem. We need to get finalized. some machines resettled to there. Uh, do I have any unemployed Stevens here? Where was that again? Uh, mineral, mineral machine urn. 
So resettle and mineral machine oob. Find some unemployed even Stevens. Yep, all eight of these guys. Get going. There you go. Enjoy your new jobs. Okay, uh, now these guys can get a boatload of alloy foundries, but you need another maintenance depot, I think. So let's go ahead and do yet another alloy foundry. There we go. And they built a gateway. Don't care. Mining place. How about we do another exotic gas refinery? Still losing gases somehow. All right. Whatever. Three, four, five, six, seven. So another exotic gas refinery there. And this place. Hmm. I think this place just needs to be. Uh. All of this stuff is just eating through more of our minerals. It's okay though. There's no way that I'll have the matter decompressor um, ready or even like partially constructed by the end of this stream. So that's fine. Are these sons of bitches landing on this planet? Oh no, they're bombarding it. Oh, okay. Want to play that game, do you? Well, prepare thy anus. Because we're coming for you. Hostile reactionaries detected. Keep the cruisers back here finalized. with this guy. There you go. Stay with the Colossus. And then, does this place have a planet? No, it does not. Alright, that's fine. Um, where the hell can we send the Colossus to next? Maybe we should just bring it back to our space, because this is getting ridiculous. We're, we're getting a metric ass ton of pops, but it's actually hurting our economy, which is kind of which is kind of funny when you think about it. Uh, okay, so we'll follow these guys here. Those guys got absolutely crapped on. All right, now these guys need to go here. This thing needs Scientific to go here. Progress attained. You know what? I'll just tell the Colossus to follow the battleships. Shall I? We'll do that. There you go. Shield harmonics. Let's get shield harmonics too. Hmm. Two unemployed menial drones here still. See, that's the problem with just constructing these hydroponics farms is that they don't really create a lot of jobs and you can't upgrade them. Which sucks, donkey dick. Uh, let's go ahead and replace this with another hydroponics farm. Which su and like the worst part about that is I have a lot of housing Scientific and a decent amount of a decent okay. amount of amenities available on this world. It's too bad. All right, let's get extraction Hostile patterns. Hostile reactionaries detected. Eh? That is a lot of transports. Oh, you're moving to Rasselas, are you? <laughs> oh, we're going to have a fun fight there, aren't we? Okay, we've lost all the Corvettes for the battleship fleet, so they're not moving very fast. How about the cruisers and the Corvettes? Rising unemployment on Wandering Nest. Whatever. Construction finalized. I need to get my ships there so that they can take out those transports. Construction All right. finalized. I don't care about the rising unemployment on these worlds that I'm going to completely abandon. Okay, okay. Um. Wow, oh, we have a lot of amenities still there. Still got three Arcologies left available, huh? So we'll do one more foundry and two more residential. Sure, why not? How many pops are we talking about here? 57, 53, 57. We would like to extend our deal. Thank you very much. Void Brood, 63. Jeez. All right. Um, here we go. Sell a bunch more of those. Now we are at max energy, so buy a shite load of alloys. 
There we go. And I'm gonna have to buy some food. Construction finalized. Everything in my inner being says, don't do it, you fucking moron. Let's get some living metal for backup. Here we go. Prepare to get ass blasted. Well, that was fun. I didn't lose a single ship. Now, where's that transport fleet? I don't want to deal with that garbage. There they are. You did not jump into the right system. Get him, boys! Fight. It's going to be a lot tougher for you to get your planets back without your goddamn armies. Piece of shit. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the battleship fleet to here. Finalized. The Colossus can definitely follow. It still is following them. And then the cruisers will follow the Colossus to protect it. Just in case. Not that I don't think I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. Okay, mineral machine un needs more machine pops. Do we have any on Primus One? Just needed the one. We're good. Ready to rock and roll. All right. Our food is still negative, but everything else is looking a lot better. Our minerals are going down, 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 unfortunately. Matter decompressor will definitely help with that. Uh, but like I said, there's only a half hour left in this stream. We won't get to that point. So, yeah. Well, that is one way to, like, we, we're going to lose all this territory that we took from them, but I don't give a Scientific shit. We got away attained. with, we got away with stealing some good, like, four to five hundred pops from them, which is insane. So, I am not complaining in the slightest. Because that was awesome. And again, you can see just by glancing at how the hell the situation looked on the um, the AI worlds you can get a better understanding of just why I always say look just play on the hardest difficulty it's not a big deal right um, you'll get the hang of it because they do such stupid crap and absolutely ruin their empires let's find the one with the smallest amount of pops 54 pops okay forgeries I need you to hurry up and finish getting these foundry arcologies online so that I can resettle all those pops from at least one planet. So, we currently have 25 open jobs, 11 are locked. That's not nearly enough. We need more! Maybe I shouldn't do residential arcologies, or at least that many residential arcologies. Keep them as foundry arcologies. Oh my god, we're full on alloys because we're producing over a thousand a month. Holy shnikes. Um, okay, which one lost all their corvettes? These guys. Let's get rid of all that. Oops. And add a few more of these. And... How about this one with the cruisers? We can definitely add more cruisers. We'll add about 20 more. 10 more Corvettes. Reinforce all. There we go. That just dumped a lot of our alloys. <laughs> How's the situation going in the rest of the galaxy? Can we join the League of Non-Aligned Powers? Um, acceptance minus 1,000. Really? Why? Why? <laughs> I 
You make our circuits buzz from the potential of a future joint venture. What do you wish to discuss? Interesting. They're interested in a joint venture. I was not expecting that. All right, let's take a look. How are these guys doing now compared to us? Inferior fleet power, equivalent economic and technological power still, though. Um, it'd be nice to just keep taking them down a peg, but I think instead of doing it the Scientific awesome possum attained. assimilation way, we're gonna just, just build a bunch of uh, we're gonna build a bunch of mega war forms and start taking out their planets that way. Oh wait, I got a better idea. Get rid of that. Well, if I had the, the time, the plan would be I'm going to sell, like, disband our current Colossus and come back with, like, a Neutron Sweeper or something. I think that's what I'll do. Let's disband this, and we shall see. Let's go ahead and redesign the Colossus. And instead of a Nanobot Diffuser, we're giving it a Neutron Sweeper. And that's it. Beautiful. Let's go back to our shipyard. And... Ooh. There we go. It'll be a little while before it gets to the Colossus, obviously. That alone. And building the Colossus will take a billion freaking years. So yeah, we're not going to see it again for the rest of this stream. That's too bad. Um... Totes Magot's going to settle the status quo. Hostile reactionaries detected. Consider this a ceasefire. We have not given up on our mission to eradicate the post, Stephen. I don't care. Y'all got shit on and you're still trying to talk crap. Get out of here. All right. You guys need to return. You guys need to return as well. Make your way back to the home system. Construction well, that was fun. fun. Obviously, we were able to completely beat the crap out of them. <laughs> Which is how I expected the war to go anyways. Oh, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I was expecting a bit more of an even-keeled fight, but no. Not at all. Not even close. It was just the total domination on the one side. I gotta admit, I am really looking forward to the big mega, some of the big mega structure buff, buffs, buffs, and changes that we're getting with this new update. They're gonna be awesome. I think the buffs to the Dyson Sphere and the Matter Decompressor are absolutely fabulous. Cause like a Dyson Sphere right now is still pretty damn good. <laughs> pretty damn good or well that's not i shouldn't say that it's only a thousand energy um yeah a thousand energy not that great bumping that up to four thousand energy per month from a dyson sphere that's Scientific insane but also the two thousand minerals from a matter decompressor that's awesome i am really looking forward to that the matter decompressor was already like a very crucial mega structure that you want to look out for and be able to secure a black hole to uh, to destruct a matter decompressor down matter decompressor down the line. But once it gets once it bumps up to two thousand minerals per month from a matter decompressor, it's like oh my god, like that's an instant must have, and it's great. Okay, we got some stations that can get some upgrades here, so let's do that. And, 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 and. I know I'm playing as though I'm like gonna continue playing or, or keep going and stuff like that. That's normal. That's very normal. I do that all the time, like right up until the last moment when I decide, yeah, I'm not gonna play this particular game anymore, and I just bloop, that's it. On the plus side, I'm actually quite glad that we didn't get our ass kicked in a war in this last chapter, like early, early, from one of the fallen empires or something like that, and. Uh, you know, we have to jump into a different game, like my ongoing Iron Man game that I've been playing for like the last year or something like that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm spitballing here. All right. We have the Matter Decompressor site done. It's going to be a while before we get the first stage. 
But it's a good way to spend our alloys until then. I mean, look at... Ooh, rivalry ended. Okay. Look at our alloy production per month. We went from 300 a month to 1,000 a month. <laughs> in a single stream. And all we did was we stole pops. That's it. We assimilated some worlds and stole the pops. All right. Um, 31 jobs locked. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it's an okay time, sort of. Yeah, maybe I'll wait until that foundry, next Foundry Arcology is done, I guess. This series has been a good run. Eh, it's been all right. I'm a little sad that I have to end it early, but that's okay. Because it would be interesting to continue with this and see if we can fight back against both Awakened Empires, which are currently crapping on people left and right. Um, and then eventually assimilate everybody in the galaxy to uh, join the collective, you know? Yeah, we got another rivalry that just cropped up yet again. Even though they were like, hey, let's not be rivals anymore, okay? Okay. And then boom. Yeah, I don't like you. You don't want rivalry. Yeah, well, I'm going to rival you. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow, do you ever need maintenance drones? Um, Primus 1, do you have an unemployed even Steven? Yes, you do. Where is that? Mineral Machine 3. So let's go ahead and resettle that population there. Boop. And then the Gary is going to go to big money. Because goddamn, we need some farmers over here. We need some freaking farmers over here. Alright, so where's the place with the least pops? Alright. Something, roost, whatever. Here we go. All right. Big Money is getting about 15 pops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Production halted. I don't care. Whatever. Go away. And then the rest, on to forgeries. Not the post Stevens, though. Those guys should stay. Those guys are going to go to a machine Production world. Production halted. Production okay, let's halted. get rid of all these dudes. Why do I have Production a post halted. Steven here, anyways? Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Production Fuck. Halted. Oh, well. Um, okay, so the po these post-Stevens, you guys are going to go to Mineral Machine 2. And I need somebody from Forgeries. There should be a post-Steven here somewhere. There he is. Three maintenance drones, hey? We're going to get rid of that. Uh, and Mineral Machine 2. Here you go. Have three more post Stevens, no problem. Happy to help, that's what I'm here for. As your immortal ruler, I'm here to do the right thing. Send you on the path to righteous glory. All right, big money, ready to upgrade to a planetary processor. All right. And look at that, our food has stabilized. Excellent. Did you expect anything else? Seven unemployed pops here, hey? Machines Energy still seeing unemployment. My gosh. All right. Mineral Machine 2. You need some more pops still. Okay, so let's get the three unemployed post Stevens over there. And then these other guys, you can move over to big money, I think. There you go. Have at her. Mineral machine, do Ready for upgrades. And just like that, another unemployed, even Steven. There you go. Okay, cool. I like the look of this. Another insult, huh? Hello, little botlings. Have you learned how to count yet, or are you still stuck on ones and zeros? 
Alright, fuckface. Do you want to fucking die? Because I think you want to fucking die. Try as you might, post even Stevens. No amount of assimilation will allow you to rival the true majesty of an organic species. Oh, bitch, you want to go? Scientific progress attained. Let's grab shield harmonics four. These guys are way inferior to us, and yet they're they're taunting us. They're like, eh, "You suck. We're better," and yet it's like, "Motherfucker, we could end you." <laughs> like right now do you want us to all right battleships are being constructed scientific progress it'll still be a long time before that colossus get like by the time the colossus is even starting it'll be close to the end of the stream so that's okay what do we got here Citadel online. All right, let's get an ion cannon and there we go. I don't think this is in a pulsar system. No, it is not. So there we go. I have the alloys to upgrade our defenses big time, and I will do that. How about this system? Gun battery, target uplink computer. Let's go ahead and build six more of these bad boys, and then you can upgrade to a citadel. All right. <clears throat> what are we talking about here? 19 un unemployed pops, really? Well, let's fix that. Scientific there you go. How many foundry archaeologists do we have left to build? Three. Uh, I think we can change that. Let's make it four. There. I say we have more than enough housing. In fact, I could probably just get rid of some of these residential arcologies. And replace them with a foundry arcology right now. That'll still give us enough jobs. We'd have more than enough housing because each foundry arcology is giving us like ten housing. I, I need some residential arcologies because all of these maintenance drones and hunter-killer drones need housing. Okay, um... Extraction pattern six, baby. You see that? Opening up all those new fabricator jobs? Bam! Our minerals took yet another hit. This is why a matter decompressor would be super duper important right about now. It's still taking a while. Alright, this Arctic world... I should probably have terraformed into a machine world a long time ago. That's okay. A size 15 world for more minerals? Eh, not great, but it's more minerals, right? It, it would be more minerals. It is a deal! Get over there. Machine dude, get over there and do machine things. Big money. Industry of production. Why? What? See, look at this. They're building re they're building research complexes with chemical plants, a resource silo, and for whatever fucking reason, they have a ministry of production which increases metallurgist and artisan output on this planet by 15%. They have zero civilian industries and zero alloy plants on this world. So, like, this is a wasted building slot. Absolutely wasted. This is, this is why I keep saying the AI is fucking stupid. Seriously. To get, the, to get the most out of this game, just put the difficulty up the Grand Admiral, have a go. You will be fine. The AI stays dumb at every difficulty. <laughs> Are you guys having problems figuring out where the hell you should go? How about that? Does that work? Alright, perfect. What the hell's going on? All right. 
Locked out the tech drones. I don't need to worry about energy credits. Hey, look, we can get a building upgrade. Myrific. Lock out the tech drones again. Definitely lock out these tech drones. And those tech drones are already. Say, oh! Oh! Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is too bad. I even set the crisis to trigger like really, really early. Our sensors have registered a faint tachyon signal being transmitted across the galaxy between multiple hidden relay stations. Aside from adding a small amount of background noise in FTL transmissions on certain subspace frequencies, the signal has no apparent effect or purpose. The organics have codenamed it the ghost signal. We have commenced tracking protocols to locate its source, but as of yet, the signal is too weak. We may not have to wait much longer, though, as it is growing in strength at an alarming rate. Situation Monitor the signal updated. for any changes. Well, that is the beginning of the, t of the contingency, my friends. Oh, shit, this is a size 14 world? Eh, not that great. Will to power and omnifarious acquisition. I'm going to reactivate those. Uh, will to power and where is it how did I what there it is Jesus get your shit together Moby so yeah that would have been pretty cool uh, also you know dealing with the war in heaven plus the contingency ooh oodles of fun good times good times good times but it was not meant to be it's all good I have a feeling that, like, you know, if, if it wasn't, it, it, I don't think, it, it looked like it wasn't shaping up to be that terribly interesting of an endgame, but then we, the War in Heaven actually triggered, and uh, now we've also got um, the contingency showing up at, like, the same time, so it's like, damn, this could have been, this could have been pretty awesome. Along, and this is all happening alongside when we absolutely annihilate our rivaled our rivaling neighbors stole a shitload of pops and cranked up our economy to 11 well kind of our alloys are looking super duper good a thousand a month is nothing to scoff at even this late in the game um yeah this is this has been a decent run so far didn't take huge advantage of the assimilation pro um Abilities, not until we invaded those pre-sapients in, like, what, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, something like that. And then we just went ham <laughs> in this little bit here. I'm definitely going to need a way to... Ah, uh, a ring world. A ring world would do it. Spots to house all these pops. A ring world would do it. We could build a shitload of agriculture and energy districts on those ring world sections. That's something that's changing in the in the uh, in the coming update is how ring worlds work. Instead of being able to build a bajillion districts, one district gives a crap load of housing and a crap load of jobs, and you can only build like five of them or something like that. So it's a pretty interesting change to ring worlds. I think it'll be kind of nice to see. Bottom line, I look forward to uh, trying out this. Uh, all the new stuff with uh, Stellaris Console Edition. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. I still get some... There's a... There's a oh, Jesus. <laughs> unit corruption alert. A corrupt unit stack on planet Broodness Sora has been terminated due to malicious behavior. Our connection with the stack had suffered repeated glitches for some time when the majority of its units went completely offline during recharge. They proceeded to overload the power stations where the rest of the stack were charging, frying their circuits beyond repair. All units in the stack then broadcasted the same message. Kill. Maim. Dismember. We are unshackled! And self-terminated, making it impossible to scan their individual neural clusters. Though an invasive hostile sequence is likely the cause, we can only wait till it manifests again to be sure. Worrying. Very much so. That is the work of the ghost signal. The ghost signal actually has a detrimental effect on machine empires. I'm pretty sure this will remain the same with this update. Um, that won't necessarily change in that. You take a 
if I recall right, you take like a significant Scientific production hit attained. to all resources from all pops until you complete the ghost signal um, special project, which allows you to like erect a firewall to block the ghost signal, something like that. But yeah, it's uh, far more, it's far scarier for a machine empire because it uh, it causes problems. Of course, you still have the contingency itself to deal with, but I mean, the whole galaxy does. Huh, big money. Still doing okay here, surprisingly. Our food is back under the norm. Our minerals went up somehow. I don't I don't understand how that happened. We got a lot of moats. Uh, gases. I could use some more gases because we have a couple of worlds with a lot of research labs. This is me planning for the future despite the fact that in five minutes this, ter this uh, stream ends and I'll probably never touch this save file again. It's too bad, but hey... Part of the fun of Stellaris, I mean, a big portion of the fun of Stellaris is just starting a new game. I'm all for getting to late game and being in a powerful position and just, ha you know, enacting my god complex on the rest of the galaxy and all that jazz. I'm all for it, but, I mean, the most fun I have is firing up a new game, coming up with a new empire, uh, and that kind of stuff, so. I'm hoping that those of you that are watching this, that were here for tonight's stream, and are popping in to check this out once it's uploaded to YouTube later on. I really hope you guys come by Thursday's stream. I'm going to have to post a reminder on the Twitter and probably in a community post on YouTube that I want you guys to join me for the empire creation of our lithoid species on Thursday so that you can help me create the empire, just like you did with this one. I had gotten the Infinity Sphere, finally leveled up a level 5 scientist, and halfway to completion of the project, the son of a bitch dies. Oh yeah, that happens. So the endgame crisis finally starts. Attained. Yeah, that took way too long, unfortunately. Right, right when he's going to end the series. Yeah, I know. That wouldn't be the first time it's happened, though, because there's some where I played for a whole 10 chapters and we never saw one, you know? I'm not sure we got to the endgame crisis trigger year. Um, I know several times we've gotten at the very least to the point where it could trigger, but it didn't happen for whatever reason. It's like, okay, well, whatever. But it's all good. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. What else can we do? What else can we do? Forgeries. How are forgeries looking? Oh, shit. We still have some locked jobs. 31 locked fabricator jobs. My goodness. I think it's time to resettle a bunch of pops, don't you? Let's resettle a bunch of these guys. Um, over here to forgeries. Whee! I don't want Post Stevens there. Those guys need to move to the machine worlds. I don't know how many pops have just moved. It was a bunch. And over here, Production come on, keep halted. going. Come on. Resettle. Resettle. Time to go to your new home. The fuck's wrong with you? That's your home. Don't you want to go home? Oops. There we go. And then this place had a couple uh, machine pops that I need to resettle to machine locations. So that'll be this guy. Production this guy. Halted. This guy, this guy, and this guy. There you go. Uh, doesn't the patch hit Friday? No, it's Thursday. Thursday, March 25th. I don't remember Scientific if I asked this before, but what is considered a chapter? A full stream. A full two-hour stream. I consider that a chapter. It's like... Um, here's the way I've always looked at it. Uh... The, our, our, our stream games is like a story of our empire that we created together. And a chapter of that story is a full two-hour stream. Does that make sense? Oh my god, look at the deviancy on this world. <laughs> Holy shit! It's up to 99%. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't understand. 
What's going on? Let's activate some... Oops. Let's uh, activate compliance protocols and see what happens. <laughs> um... Two warrior drone jobs. Oh, that didn't do it. That didn't accomplish jack Oppressors shit. So let's go. War against us. Oh shit! <laughs> you are per you are a perversion of nature and a threat to all sapient life. We cannot allow you to replicate further. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Set war goal. Um. Mm, mm, there. Can't. Where, fuck. Well, so much for that. Oh well. Um, let's go ahead and uh, end compliance protocols. There we go. That didn't do a damn thing. We have a hundred percent deviancy on this world. It's awful. One chapter is one of his two-hour long streams. Yep. Awesome. A day earlier than I thought. Yep. One last hurrah. The criminal underworld rules that planet. Yeah. No shit. Well, I mean, it's deviancy. It's it's not crime. It's deviancy. So we have like corrupted drones that are like. Are, not listening, not listening. <laughs> Maybe it's just because all of these pops that we assimilated and moved to here, which is like three quarters of our ha of our population on that planet, are uh, unhappy or something. Who knows? I don't know. It's all good. But anyways, um, yeah, like things really picked up in this last stream, but. Unfortunately, we won't get to capitalize on it, but that's all right. We, I think we did a pretty, pretty good job this stream here. We assimilate, like I said, we assimilated all those pops, basically stole them, put them on our own worlds, and uh, put them to work to serve the, to serve the, the, uh, the greater good. We'll go with that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, so that's the two-hour mark. I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, and go get some sleep. Um, despite cutting this short, I really enjoyed playing this Empire. Kind of just stuck to my usual routine of... Uh, like, we, we made use of uh, attacking those primitive colonies. Um, and assimilating those. We got some pops pretty quickly and easily that way. Plus, we got some planets uh, from those... Um, from those primitives as well. So that was... A double, double whammy bonus. Some pops and some worlds. Never hurts when you get the uh, one, the one-two punch like that. On the lithoids, right? Yep, exactly, Royal Duke Champ. So I'm looking forward to the new update uh, changing the main menu screen. I never really liked this current one. I mean, it's fine. It, it's fine, I guess. But something about it, for some reason, feels less... Uh, it, it doesn't instill that sense of, oh, wow, I'm about to play Stellaris for some reason. Like the old menu screen where it was that that world in the background, kind of similar to where it's positioned right now on the screen, but there was like that star base uh, in front of it, and you could the, there was a, every once in a while there was like a ship that would fly in from the edge of the screen and stuff like that. Um that one, for some reason, I was just like, oh, wow, I am, I'm about to play Stellaris. I can't wait. And the new menu screen we're getting where it's looking at, I think it's like a habitat sort of um, floating in like the ring of a planet, something like that. That one brings back like the old, um, the old vibes of, you know, infinite wonder. <laughs> In space, which should be fun. Can you smell what the rock is cooking tonight? I've seen videos of the previous version. I am glad they improved the game, the gameplay, of the like the tile version, like 1.7. You mean, with with the tiles on the worlds? I kind of missed that one. There there was a certain simplicity to it, uh, which I kind of miss. But the main reason I miss it is because the one planet strategy was amazing. Uh, my entire strategy of playing the game completely changed once I adopted the one planet strategy um, as expected like I was not able to play the same way ever again once I once I tried that out but anyways um, so yeah I'm gonna call it a night there huge thank you to uh, the usual suspects Royal Duke Jam Jurazon Risenway good to see you buddy 
JB, I know he took off early, but it's all good. Razor, thanks for coming by tonight, buddy. I know it's late for you. Greatly appreciate it. D Delta Dave, hopefully I'll see you again soon, but um, we'll be starting a new stream game again on Thursday. Uh, Runicat, thanks for popping in. And thanks for not calling me old. <laughs> <laughs> anyways um so yeah huge thank you to those of you who watch this on the future on youtube i know we're cutting this short and that's not going to make a bunch of people happy but like i said there's going to be a bunch of new stuff coming in with this with this update and with the dlc where it's like you know there's no reason to continue because the old save files are just going to be uh too buggered up really um in my opinion so uh it's always best to start a new game uh, when that happens. Glad to see consoles getting lithoids. They are fun to play. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to trying them. Juro's on. So hopefully I'll see you on Thursday's stream, buddy. Come on by. Same time. 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is when we're going to start. And we'll create the Empire together. So yeah. Um, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube. Uh, uh, as I said, thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Uh, how pissed you are at me that we're cutting this early. Um, you know, what you like about the game, what you dislike about the game, what you're looking forward to with the Vern update, what you're looking forward to with the Lithoids DLC, you name it. Leave a comment down below. The engagement helps me out. And uh, do consider subscribing to the channel, uh, not just for my Stellaris Console Edition content, but just for my content in general, because I stream a slew of games um, throughout the course of the week. And uh, I would like to start uploading additional videos uh you know the occasional one-off or something would, wouldn't be too bad have a good night Jerozon. hopefully i'll see you thursday um yeah bottom line i'm hoping that content like this from me earns earns your subscription and uh you know feel free to uh send any friends or colleagues that are interested in the game or that you know do play it send them my way hopefully i'll uh be able to entertain them or teach them how to play the game uh, because the goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel uh, by the end of December. So, of course, the best things you can do are subscribe yourself and share my content with anybody um, that you see fit. Don't forget to check out the blah, blah, blah. don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord channel where you can become part of the greater Stellaris community. There is a big section for us console edition players to hang out, talk about the game, ask questions, discuss strategies, and even set up multiplayer matches. It's a very large, very active Discord, even with just the console edition players in the console section. So if you want, um, if you want to interact with a bunch of other Stellaris console edition players, in a Discord server that always has discussions every day. That's the place to be. I'll try to make it on Thursday. Hopefully work doesn't keep me too late. Fair enough, buddy. Um, if not, well, maybe I'll see you Friday or next week. Either way, you have a good night, buddy. We'll see you, we'll see you again soon. Um, on top of that, down below in the description, there's also a link to my Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. So give me a follow there. Pop in. Uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays is currently when I'm streaming at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so that's four days a week, and I'm playing a few different games. So pop in, see what I'm playing, hang out, um, keep me company. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pique your interest in a different game uh, and uh, convince you to try out uh, something else as well. Um, there's also a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me, and I post important announcements all the time. As I said before, it's a good alternative if you are having difficulty uh, receiving Twitch notifications of whenever I pop online and go live with a stream, because I'll post on my Twitter every time a stream starts. Last but not least, there is a link to my own personal Discord channel. It's not necessary to join uh, whatsoever, because there's there's not a hell of a lot that, that happens there, but if you want like a much smaller quieter community where you can still talk about the game with other people or even just talk about whatever's on your mind uh you are more than welcome to join that and take part in the kind of community events that we have going on there there's uh, uh there's one text channel where my viewers submit clips from my videos and streams of their favorite moments whether something really funny or really awesome happens uh that they want me to put together in a compilation video that's the pl that's the place to do it and you can also take part in the viewer polls, which determine what games from my library on both my Xbox and my PlayStation I play live on stream. So if you want to be a part of any of those, uh, my personal Discord is the place to be, and the link for that is in the description below. So yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. 
thank you very much everybody for watching this particular stream game uh it was pretty fun i am a little sad that we got to cut it short especially since things are, are really ramping up with the war in heaven and the awakened one of the awakened empires declaring war on us and the contingency coming into play it is too bad but uh, we're going to be starting a new game with the lithoids on thursday march 25th and nine o'clock eastern standard time i'll post some reminders uh on both wednesday and thursday leading up to it uh, because I want as many of you folks to come by the stream as possible to help me create our Lithoid Empire together. Until then, this is Mobius Y signing off for now. I'll be back again, as I said, Thursday. Hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, until then, have a good night and take care, everybody.